There are many cars that play an integral part of the plot in A Date with Death. But you have to understand that in 1942, all new car production stopped. Therefore, the cars that you saw on the highways in the United States during World War II were older cars because the automotive industry was producing planes and tanks and ships. The cars that were therefore driven by folks just like you and me, as well as government officials, were cars that were well maintained and taken care of. Some were 10, 12, 15 years old. Helen Meeker, of course, drove a 1936 Packard, much like this one except hers was yellow. That Packard was a luxury car, a car that had power and grace and charm. But you'll notice, as you look over the dash, that it was still a standard transmission car, a three-speed H pattern, and that's what Helen and almost everyone else drove during this time. The 1937 Lincoln Zephyr was one of the first cars that was streamlined in the United States. It was a luxury car, as you can tell by the interior, which included not one, but two club boxes. The FBI drove mainly Fords and other mid-range, mid-priced cars like this 1937 Ford. The Ford was a staple of many of law enforcement officers. The Tin Lizzie, which we found in Georgia, was still prominently driven throughout the United States. The Model T, made from 1909 to 1928, was an integral part of American society during this time, and often the only car the poor could find to drive. This 1935 Dodge panel truck was also an important element in this plot, and it was used by the Red Cross and other agencies as well as floor shops. You might think that there's actually a misprint in this book. We talk about a model double-A Ford. Well, that's not true. The double-A's were ton-and-a-half trucks, while the model-A was only a half-ton truck. And a farm family like Helen Meeker encounters in this book would have needed that ton-and-a-half truck to deliver their hogs to the market. When you look back at the streets that Helen Meeker drove during World War II, it was a different time, a more colorful time, a time when cars had class and charm. The designs were unique. You could easily tell a Ford from a Chrysler or a Chevrolet, and the speed limit in most parts of the country was only 35 to 40 miles an hour.